guys and welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to another episode of behind the beats yo today we're gonna be breaking down one of my beats from in 2014 called wreck it rhythm so let's jump right into it Okay, so Wreck-It Rhythm was one of my rhythms released in 2014 with artists featuring on it like Skinny Fabulous, Problem Child, Fair and Lance, Lava Man, Trini Boy, Juicy, Royal. That era was a good era for me because I actually wanted to start to be new. I wanted to not compete with the competition, but I wanted to be different from everybody. So I started being very creative at that time, doing a lot of different crazy vibes and i came up with wreck it rhythm right so wreck it rhythm is consist of four layers of music and we're gonna break it down and jump right into it now okay so we're gonna start off with the drums we have a kick normal and every soca beat you must have a kick if you don't have a kick i don't know what's what, what's wrong with you so we, we have the kick and the kick is played normal on the on the on the bpm sound like this right nice then we have a hit hat the hit hat was played in two different ways so on the chorus it's a more mashup vibe and in the intro and in the verses a more cooler vibe so we start from the intro it sound like this right and when the chorus come And then we have a snare. The snare was played very different because as I said, I wanted to be very different and beat the competition. Don't want to be sounding like everybody else. So I actually play the snare and make it a, a double up and a triple up. It sound like this. It might sound weird for you, but later on when I play it with the kick, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. So the snare by itself sound like this. Right? And then when you play it with a kick, it sounds like this. Right? So that was the snare. And then we have three layers of toms. We have tom one, tom two, and tom three. Tom one is going to be sounding like this. And bear in mind, they're all playing to compensate for each other. So... Tom 1 will be sounding like this. And then we have Tom 2 sounding like this. And then we have Tom 3 sounding like this. And when you play the three of them together, as I said, is a compensate. They compensate for each other. So it's gonna be sounding like this. Right? And then we have a crash. As usually, crash is playing very normal on the on the one hit, so it's gonna indicate when the chorus is there or when a new verse is there so this is the this is the crash and it's just playing on one hit as i said again that's it for the drums now let me play all the pieces of the drums all the elements so you can understand and get the vibe of the beat listen
right? Crazy. Now we're going to be moving on to the percussion part of things, right? Moving on to the percussion, we're going to start with the bongo, and the bongo is being played like this. It sounds like that, but when you play it with the kick, check this. Now we're going to be moving on to the timpani and the timpani is played very different because at this time I wanted to, as I said, be different and I started fiddling with the instruments and the percussions and I started twisting them, pitching them, you know, doing all sort of thing to them to make them sound very different. This is how the timpani sounds. Right? And then we have an instrument called the picker, and this is the lead percussion instrument playing throughout the whole song. Here's how it sounds. Right? Crazy. Then we have a bouncer. I call it the bouncer because it's very bouncy, and you're going to understand what I'm talking about just now. Listen. It may not sound like much, but when you pair it with the kick, check this. You don't even need nothing else in the beat, just this, and you're already bouncing down the road. Listen. Stink. That's the kind of vibe that make you screw up your face like, ooh, stink. Now move on to the last piece of instrument, which is the tab, and this is how it sounds. Right? And that's it for the percussion. I'm going to give you a rundown of all the percussion playing, all the elements of the percussion playing together. And you're going to get the feel of it. This is how it sounds. Right? Crazy vibes. Now we're going to be moving on to the instrument part of thing. But hold up. Wait, 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 wait. If you're a producer and you like what you heard from the percussion just now, you can head over to my website at www.wettybeat.com and get yourself a copy of my song PAX because ain't nothing else better. I will leave a direct link in the description so you can just click it and it's going to take you straight to the website. Moving on to the instrument now. I only have three pieces of instrument which is a bass, a orchestra hit and a steel pan. And this is how the bass is sounding. It's played in three different ways. I'm going to start with the first part, which is the intro, and then we go to the, the, the chorus, and then the, the, the cool down part in the chorus. Here's how it sounds, the first piece. Very simple, just a one drop. One drop exactly with the kick to give it that vibe. And when you reach the chorus, Mad. Then we have an orchestra hit that's just playing every now and then on the on the chorus and everywhere else, but it's just giving you a, a, a normal hit like this. Just to add some extra impact in the sound. Right? And then we have the steel pan. And the steel pan is played like the pickup, but just a octave on top to give it that extra punch. Listen. I'm 
remember I told you it's giving the picker a extra punch. Listen to them together and this is how it be sounding. Right? Madness. So now we're going to be moving on to the synths. And I only have three pieces of synth. As I told you, I don't like putting too much into my productions. Otherwise, it's going to be sounding like a bag of noise. And that's not normal. So we're starting with the synth. And this, the first beat, the synth is played in two different ways. So this is the first way. And when it reaches to the chorus, you're going to hear it changes. Listen. Right? And then we have the lead. And the lead is sounding like this. It's only playing in the chorus, so it's sounding like this. And the second piece is played like the bass to give it that nice cool long vibe. Right? And let me just let me just play the bass with it so you could understand what I'm talking about. It's gonna be sound like this. Right? And then we have the last but not least piece, which is a second lead, and it's being played like this. And if I play just these three pieces together, it's going to be sounding like this. Right? So you get the idea. That was the breakdown for wreck -It Rhythm. As usual, I'm going to play it from the intro to the verse and give you guys a feel of every piece of elements together. This is how it's going to be sounding. Enjoy. You have it guys behind the beats wreck it rhythm i hope you enjoyed this one if you're new here give me a sub if you're a regular don't forget let me know what you think about this beat in the comments that's all i have for you for today and i'll see you in the next one right outside <laughs>